Welcome back to the Aviatrix Demo Day video series. In a previous episode, we connected our Azure spoke where our workloads live to the Azure Transit that we built. Now we need to do the same thing to AWS. We have an AWS spoke in EUS1 that needs to connect to EUS1 Transit and an AWS EUS2 spoke that needs to connect to the EUS2 AWS Transit. We're going to do this via the UI. It's super simple. Let's get started. To get your workload VPCs connected to the Aviatrix Transits, all you have to do is spin up Aviatrix spoke gateways in your workload VPCs and then connect them back to your transits via the UI. The first thing you need to do is click on the multi-cloud transit section, click on setup, scroll down to the spoke section of the UI. You'll see there's a break in the UI right there. Step number four, launch an Aviatrix spoke gateway. Select the cloud type, AWS in this case, give the gateway a name. We're placing our first gateway in EU1 region. Select the region. It will populate with all the VPCs. Select your VPC. Select your public subnet where the gateway is going to reside. Click on create. Remember, you can do this in any region and in any account. In a couple seconds, that gateway is spun up and ready to roll. All done. We'll do the same thing for the EU2 region. All I have to do is change the gateway name so it's unique. Select the other region. Select my VPC, my public subnet, and hit create. You get the hang of this pretty quickly. Remember, all this can be done via Terraform as well. If you don't want to play around with the UI, it's all deployable via Terraform. All done. Step number two, or number five in this case, is to make this HA. So select your spoke gateway, select the alternate subnet, and hit create. Now another gateway will be built in an alternate AZ. So you have AZ high availability. Okay, we'll do the same thing for EU2. And by the end of this, we'll have two gateways in each VPC in different AZs. So you have active, active, high availability. All you have to do now is connect that spoke to the transit. So select your spoke, select your transit, and hit attach. Most people connect spokes and transits in the same region, but you could go across region. You could even go across cloud if you wanted to. It's your network. You can do whatever you want with it when it comes to Aviatrix. And we're done. All the routing is done end to end. So to review, what we've done is spun up two Aviatrix spoke gateways in this VPC, two in this VPC, and then connected them to the appropriate transit. And that's it for this episode. Join me in the next one where we connect your cloud to on-prem seamlessly using the Aviatrix controller. Thank you for watching.